New details following the arrest of an edge serial killer who police say targeted the homeless on the streets of Fort Lauderdale. Tonight, we're digging deeper into his arrest record. CBS 4's Kerry Codd is live at the Fort Lauderdale Police Headquarters with what he learned. Kerry? That's right, Elliot. We did some digging into the suspected killer, Nathaniel Petgrave. It appears he's really an enigma. We did not find many people who knew him. In fact, the people that he worked with at a security company here in Broward did not want to talk about him. In the court file, we found a 2015 domestic violence arrest where he was involved in some sort of incident with his brother, but really nothing other than these cases from just this last week or two. In the meantime, we looked a little bit deeper into the arrest of Petgrave and how Fort Lauderdale police handled the case. One day after Fort Lauderdale and Lauder Hill police announced the arrest of Nathaniel Petgrave, who suspected of murdering three homeless men, we're learning more specifics about how police built the case against him. The timeline of events in the case is important. On October 20th, Lauder Hill police say Petgrave murdered Larry Scott. The next day, Fort Lauderdale police say Petgrave murdered John Jackson. On October 24th, following a tip about his identity, police began surveillance of Petgrave. On October 24th, Petgrave was arrested for stealing a car. Petgrave quickly got out of jail, and just two days later, police say Petgrave committed a murder at a storage facility using tools from a city of Tamarack work truck parked on the site. That same day, police say Petgrave walked into the Fort Lauderdale Police Department to request the return of some of his personal items from his arrest for stealing a car. That's when police arrested him for murder. CBS 4 News asked Fort Lauderdale Police if police conducted surveillance of Petgrave after he got out of jail on the auto theft arrest just a day or two before the murder of the man at the storage facility. They did not answer our question. We also asked why Petgrave was not arrested on the murder charges when he was picked up for auto theft. This is what police said at Wednesday's news conference. When we had him here for the auto theft, we had some suspicions, but you can't get probable cause for an arrest warrant based off of suspicion. Detectives and investigators say they needed to wait to get confirmation from the crime lab that the shell casings from the Lauder Hill murder match the shell casings from the Fort Lauderdale murder. We have to wait for a ballistic testing to confirm that the rounds from Lauder Hill and our rounds were an exact match. It, it's not like TV guys where it's an hour. I did speak briefly with the relative of the surviving victims, uh, surviving uh, victim in these cases. Uh, he told me that his relative is recovering, remains in the hospital. They are praying he's going to be okay. Live in Fort Lauderdale, Kerry Cott, CBS 4 News.